Bueno chicos, ¿cómo están? El día de hoy chicos todavía no me rindo, no me rindo de que decir no me rindo eh, de ganarle a esos bulls. Eh, no sé qué niveles son, la verdad, pero la cosa es que pareciera que no son, no son niveles bajos. Por eso, por eso es el daño. Pero ese es el daño que me hace. El daño es demasiado. demasiado no sé si es por los Pero, claramente, los que me pegaron una vez. Me estoy quemando. Entendiendo un poco más cómo defenderme. Bueno, no, no, todavía no manejo muy bien mi defensa personal como vampiro. Eh, hay que ver al costado los niveles de estos tipos. Estos tipos son niveles, no sé. Este es el nivel que ellos tienen. Y para este, bajo este nivel, o oh, este daño que ellos me pueden hacer. Obviamente, entre más nivel. Ah, entre, más, entre más nivel, más daño me van a hacer. No, me va a matar, weón. sangre no soy nadie, ok? Nadie, absolutamente nadie, soy una mierda basura de nada. Así que cada momento entiendo más eso. No la tengo. Pero la verga con el mundo. Voy a matar a uno. Voy a matar a uno. ¿Por qué? Necesito. No. Ay, no puedo entender por qué. No sé si es porque soy muy débil o porque no sé pelear. Pero mi intento han sido fracasados completos. O sea, ya puedo llegar a pasar aquí y todo lo que ustedes quieran, pero no llego al otro sitio y la experiencia que he ganado es algo no es, no es mucho ¿no? los humanos no me preocupan tanto ¿no? Ahora, no tengo una forma de... Me puedo desvanecer. Me puedo ocultar entre las sombras, eso sí puedo hacer. Pero nada más. Yo no sé si el... Esto estoy acá. Esa puerta yo creo que es la que tengo que ir. Es la de ahí. Esto acá me estoy yendo de otro lado en realidad. Por mi lucha, mi lucha contra... Trato de matar a estos huevones. Hasta aquí, hasta aquí llego, ¿eh? 
Pero yo porque está en el 8, 9, 7, 8, 9. los ataques esos son weas que tengo que ir recogiendo nivel 9 yo tampoco debería generar ningún problema Tengo muy poca sangre. This is Braille. I need someone who can read this. Muy poca sangre. Son tres de estos jóvenes. Ahora estos tipos, estos tipos son nivel. Get away from me, you bastard! ¿Quién es él? Nivel dieciséis. A ver. Por eso es que les decía que. El nivel es demasiado bajo. Ya, no, no puedo pelear contra ellos. Simplemente no puedo. Voy a ir al, al lugar. Son nivel 16, yo soy nivel 8. No, no, por ahora no tiene sentido alguno. No, no estoy a la altura de ellos. Me matan de un golpe. Así que voy a seguir hacia el pueblo donde yo quería ir porque. Si no me la voy a pasar todos los episodios muriendo, si no, no es la idea. Ahora ya aprendí mucho más, así que eso igual me ha generado una buena experiencia de combate. Pero ya me di cuenta que no es tan difícil Contra un modo de nivel O sea, bueno, dos niveles más arriba no es tan difícil Y ahí me sale sal salva al hombre mayor Pero... Por lo menos hasta el momento no voy a poder, o sea, por ahora no No puedo tengo que entrar acá. Eh, aquí es donde tengo que ir. Este es el distrito donde se encuentra este tipo, si no me equivoco. No se puede hablar. Good evening, Miss. I am Dr. Reed. May I ask you a few questions? Who are you? What do you want? As I just told you, I'm a doctor. From the Pembroke Hospital, actually. The Pembroke Hospital, you say? I don't have any money for you leeches. I'm not here for charity, Miss... Miss Edwina Cox. So what do you want then? Fancy buying something from me, maybe? Well, I know this, yeah. You still use your husband's name, Edwina. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife and his name means something round here. Are you aware of what happened to him? Yes. I'm sure he fought till the end and looked deaf in the eyes. The boys will mourn him. Except one of them, maybe. What can you tell me about your work? I'm a businesswoman. I buy and sell things. And I send my wet boot boys after anyone who don't play nice with me. 
gang member and shopkeeper. Can't be easy running double shifts. If you're interested, I may find use of a doctor who can freely walk across the city, you know. You're quite blunt, aren't you? I like people who know what they want and say what they think. This is a time of great opportunity for those ready to embrace their destiny. I'm not interested in a career in the criminal underworld, Miss Cox. Fair enough. Stay away from us, then, if you don't want to get hurt. Since my return from the war, I don't feel that concerned by threats, knives, or even bullets, if you must know. That's exactly what that stupid trade unionist claimed after he attacked one of us. Booth and I reminded him a bullet beats words every time. What can you tell me about this part of town? You can't trust anyone around here. As soon as you lower your guard, you can be sure some arsehole will take advantage of you. Really? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? Bastards, all of them. This region only responds to violence and threats. You sound like you're thinking of somebody in particular. Take the gravediggers of Southern. They must pay me every week, but it looks like they forgot who gave them permission to steal from the dead. Looting corpses in a mass grave. That's... That is a new low. Whatever. Hey, since you're a doctor and all, maybe you can access that forbidden area and remind those bastards what they owe. No investigation. You still use your husband's name, Edwin. No. Why is that? Why shouldn't I? He may be a bloody bastard, but I'm still his wife. Are you aware of... Yeah. Tell me about the man you and Booth killed, Edwina. The bastard killed one of us and received retribution. There's nothing else to say. What happened exactly? I don't know and I don't care. One of ours was killed by that communist bastard, but he didn't brag for long. So you have no idea what really happened, but you executed him anyway. No one messes with the wet boot boys, Doctor. Well, this is our territory, and this is our law. And your conscience is clear. You kill without hesitation. So Violence is an efficient tool, Doctor Reed, when used properly. So, so you decide who lives and who dies. Just like that. Yes, Doctor. Just like that. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm saying it's my way of dealing with troublemakers. Goodbye, Miss Cox. Pleasure, sir. Been a while since we've seen any new faces round here. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? Don't you see I'm busy here? Dr. Jonathan Reed, that's who I am. And who are you? Ah, some fancy gentleman we've got here. Clear off. We don't want strangers on our streets. So you won't tell me your name, then? The name is Booth Digby. Maybe I'll ask my boys to break one or two of your bones, just so you remember it. Are you some kind of vigilante patrolling these streets at night? Something like that, but the police aren't in charge here. We are, see? So you're a concerned criminal, is that it? Using funny jokes about me and my boys, are you? Fuck. You must have some balls. I saw many men like you during the war, Mr. Digby. Greedy little cockroaches who feed on despair. I could kill you for saying that. But, nah. You've been a soldier, I can respect that. Hmm. So, tell me about your gang, then. What? Have you got a death wish? You really want me to answer that? Well, yes. You seem so proud of your status. Why not tell me who you're working for? Oi! I'm the boss, all right. The wet boot boys work for me. All of them. Situation round here is better than other districts because of us. Because of me. What can you tell me about this part of town? Things ain't that bad, thanks to us. We give people what they need, and we control this borough. Well, you're not doing a very good job. People are still dying here, like everywhere else. Yeah, well, we can't be everywhere all the time. And Edwina says if we can find more guns, we could be more efficient. More efficient? Really? 
You should probably tell Edwina that guns are useless against diseases and infections. Incredible. You know what? You're lucky she can't hear you right now. She's more smart than patient, my sweet queen of the docks. Mm. Tell me about the man you killed, Booth. What happened? One of us had been killed, so we had to retaliate. That's the whole story. There has to be more to it than that. No, really. One of us got killed, so the killer had to die. That's how things have always been done round here. No one gives a shit. I think you're wrong. Maybe the docks have always been violent. But you can't say the living don't suffer because of it. And then what? Let the commies and the anarchists rule? Nah. We're the wet boot boys. Our fathers died on these docks and they belong to us. Goodbye, Mr. Digby. Y eso nos llevaría a saber un poco más del distrito. No mucho más porque la verdad que no he hablado con todos, pero algo más. Acá está el bar y este es el señor que está mal. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. Inebriation aside, do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. Take this then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake too. Hey Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Well, what do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. <laughs> Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing. I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts, fire, broken window of the shoe shop, the torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love... No reason at all to rejoice, then. 
Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. Another time, perhaps. I'm not sure I want to hear another sad story. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change, and to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. Mm. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believed that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Goodbye. Mr. Delaney. Son, bueno, larga, larga charla, porque son largas las charlas con la gente. Eh, ya se está recuperando porque ya le di la poción. Evening, miss. Well, I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. If you're uncertain about your safety here, the docks might not be the right place for you. I got responsibilities. And it's not like I got the money to move anywhere else anyway. This place seems, how shall I put it, very cold. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but... Where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the color of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course, Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Knows he? My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. La verdad, la verdad, voy a preguntar a Arthur, voy a hablar a Arthur, si por favor, si acaso. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. 
Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Or something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. You're something of a figure around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. No sé de cómo. No sé cómo decirlo, pero... El tener la posibilidad de conversar con esta gente... So few clients. But with the epidemic, no one dares go outside. Que cada persona tenga como un esquema, como que, como que es necesario hablar con la gente, como que... En pocas palabras, tienes que saber más de ellos. Eh, sí, es, es raro, o me parece raro, el método utilizado en este juego eh, de esta forma. Es como. No sé, weón. Bueno. Es raro. Simplemente raro. Mm. No puedo fabricar nada, esto es una cama nada más. Aquí ya hablé con todo. Eh, tengo que desmarcar eso. Eh, y me marcó aquí mercader. Escondite. Eh... Investigaciones locales, o sea... Aquí llevan a... Llevan las cosas, ¿ok? Por lo menos aquí no hay más gente que yo vea aquí para conversar. O sea, no se ve más gente. Tampoco quiero meterme para allá. Porque, o sea, no quiero como que irme muy lejos de, de aquí. Que igual la visión no está acá, la visión está en otro lado. Eh, mi idea era venir a, a darle la medicina, eso era todo. Y esto al final es pasear, ¿me entiendes? Pero son diferentes muelles, ¿ya? No voy a ir al muelle occidental porque... 
ni siquiera he terminado con este muelle. Hello, boy. Uh, hello. Good evening. Did I scare you? You have nothing to fear from me. No, it's just that people prefer to avoid me. Well, I won't. I'm a doctor. My name is Rufus, sir. Rufus Kingsbury. What can you tell me about this region? It's all about staying out of trouble. But since most people prefer to avoid me, it's pretty easy. Why do people avoid you? They call me Rufus the Curse. Around here, I'm a bit of a bad luck charm. Have you ever thought about leaving? <laughs> Where else would I go? At least I know these streets and some people around here. This is my city, for better or worse. What do you do around here, Rufus? I listen to the news on the dock, sir. And I smile at those kind enough to spare me a bob. Do you have a job? It's hard to work. What with my head and all. Since I was a boy, I've always had trouble remembering what I do and why I do it. What do people say about this place? Things have been tense between the wet boot boys and the communists. They both feel they should run the docks. Are you alone? Where is your family? I... I don't have any. My parents are dead. So you have no home? You're sleeping rough. No. I mean, yes. I live on the streets. I have no home. Mm. We're all truly alone in this world. You're lucky you learned that early. Well, I'm known worse. I'm not all alone. I have Mrs. Fishburne. She's been very kind to me. Why do you think she's so considerate? I can't say, sir. I guess she's a good soul. Sometimes it's like she replaces the mother I lost, even if we're not related. So long, Rufus. Be careful. Take care. Ahora, vámonos acá de nuevo y veamos cuánta gente ya hemos hablado. O sea, fíjense, faltan muchos, o sea, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, o sea, mucho. Anemia, cura con tratamiento para la anemia. Calidad de sangre. Se lo podría curar, ¿ah? ¿eh? Tranquilamente lo puedo curar. Necesito una, una tabla de para poder curarlo nada más. Voy a marcar este lugar del mapa porque él probablemente va a estar acá constantemente, así que voy a marcarlo. Así que nada chicos, eso va a ser por el día de hoy, ya saben, suscríbanse, dejen like, comenten por favor, compartan el canal y los veo pronto.